हे गाइज दिस इज वरुण मराठे एंड टुडे आई एम बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू चेंज द मल्टी टास्किंग ड्रॉर ऑफ यूर सैमसंग डिवाइसिस विच आर रनिंग और एंड्रॉयड ओरियो Now to do this, you need to do a couple of things. Uh, first thing is you need to click on the link in the description below, and you need to download the apps which are present in that link. And the second thing is you will need Nova Launcher for this to work. Now, once you have downloaded the app, uh, this the app name of the app is Task Changer. It is the part of Good Lock UI, uh, which was launched by Samsung a few days back in Korea. Now this will give you a sneak peek into the Android P, uh, how the multitasking drawer will look in the Android P version. Mm. So now, if you want that to apply it to your phone, uh, you uh, you will have to download the Nova Launcher, which is for free. And once you have downloaded that, uh, I'll show you what you need to do. Now, when you download this app, Task Changer, it will show in your app drawer. But what you need is something else. So you need to hard press on your Uh, home screen you need to go in widgets uh, swipe till you reach the nova launcher widget and click on activities now when you bring that activities on the home screen this is the screen which will open now in this screen you need to swipe all the way down to uh, when uh, till you reach the task changer now when you get this you need to click on it and you will see here task changer settings this is what you need to click on now when you do that the task changer setting will appear on your home screen now by default as soon as the task changer application is installed in your phone uh, from the apk which you will download uh, this is how the uh, multitasking drawer will look now this looks amazing because over the years uh, we have seen since the material design that the app drawer was stacked uh one behind the other but now in this new android p kind of animation we see that they these are entire screen cards uh which are available and they are stacked next to each other uh, and uh, you can you can swipe between them they'll show you the entire screen and everything looks great now this is what will happen by default but now the thing which you need to know is you can change the style in which they look so all you need to do is you need to click on this application and here you are you will enter into the settings of it now here are a few effects which i think you will find interesting now right now we are in cubin effect as you can see the stacks are uh, facing outwards now if you want another effect the another thing is cube out now this is again a different way in which your multitasking window will appear here the stacks of cards are facing downwards uh, on either side and the one which is there right now it will face you it looks again great uh, it is a good way of changing the look of your device look and feel of your device uh, some people will prefer this over the other so it will uh, this application gives you control over all these animations now moving on another effect which you can see is the linear effect and now this is pretty straight forward uh, it is like cards which are decked and uh, they will all be in the same line and same shape and you just have to swipe left and right and the one which will uh, appear on the top will be the one which will be opening now uh, moving on to the next effect you see is the scale one now this is pretty much the effect which you get on the uh, new version of iOS i would say but uh, not exactly this way now here again uh, you see this stack of cards are aligned in a single line but the thing is here the one which will be opening is facing you and it is a little bit larger so you see a bigger screen of that card and when you swipe left to right the card which will come will actually get zoomed out and other card will get uh, smaller in size so uh, this is another effect which you which you can get now going back we have uh, this remaining two effects which is rotation up it is a little bit of a fancy effect because you don't i, I don't think many people would like their multitasking menu to look in this way it looks a little bit of fab as it but uh, nevertheless it is a good kind of uh, animation it is different it might change the way you look uh, and uh, operate your device so it it might be fun for some time and the another one which is there is rotation down it is similar but the only thing is now the uh, multitasking app should look like the still i i personally would 
prefer the effects there are three or four effects which are there uh, right now i'm using the cube in effect but i think the all these effects will still be great when it actually comes to your device as an official update uh, only thing i wish is that samsung should include all this scroll effects in the final version as well because it will give much more control as android is all about giving customizations to the customer so this will be a great thing if you have this control over us and the customer can choose what effect he wants another thing which is there uh, in this is the mini mode it is to ease the one hand operation like if you don't have bigger hands and the device you are using is huge you can turn this on what this will do is now when you will tap on this the cards which are there will appear shorter it won't be full screen they will appear in a short version of themselves and uh, they still might be uh, they still might have the same effect as you can see whichever you have chosen but they are 50% of the size which they have so that if they are easily operatable by one hand uh, it, it doesn't matter if you are a left handed user or right handed user so in this way you can change the look of the multitasking menu which you have on your samsung device whichever it is which is running on android oreo so yeah this is it and if you want to see the entire android p look which might come on your samsung device later on uh, please check the video which i have uh, which i have recorded yesterday the card will appear uh, just about now and uh, i'll be posting more videos about this uh, apps in detail so that you uh, come to know how to use individual apps now each and every app which came in good luck ui had some uh, features which are deep and we can't explain it in every video so i'll try to touch upon every app one by one and show you how it uh, is useful and what all features it have so yeah guys that's it uh, thank you for watching my video and if you like it please share it and subscribe to my channel thank you